Alright, hey guys, it's Blood Rust. Uh, today what I'm bringing you is a tutorial on how to make CCs in Photoshop. So first, let me just bring in a render. Uh, yeah, and while I'm doing that, I'd like to quickly say thank you for 100 subscribers and 1,000 views. Um, those that's those are pretty good milestones, so I'm definitely going to be doing like a giveaway. I think I'm doing a layer styles pack. Uh, or something like that, or maybe just an actual complete graphics pack. I'm not sure what I should do. I might just do the layer styles, and then eventually for maybe like 500 subs or something like that, I'll do an actual graphics pack. But yeah, so thank you guys for that. Um, it might not be a lot to some people, but uh, yeah. So uh, let me find a uh, render. Hmm. Um, uh, what would be a good one? Just for the purpose of this video, um, I don't know, there's a bunch here, so, for the purpose of this video, I'll just use this one. The composited contest render. But obviously, this can be used for anything, CCs. Like, literally, it's not like you have to do Cinema 40 things to do CCs. I mean, it doesn't really matter. And the kid's annoying. Come on. <laughs> it's taking a while. For some reason, my Photoshop always does this. It'll say initialize and typing tool. I don't know why. If someone could explain that to me, that'd be awesome. So, yeah. Come on. Yeah, I have no idea what it does, like what this even does. It doesn't let me cancel it either. So I guess we're just gonna have to wait here until it finishes. Okay. All right, so first you wanna go down here and click the folder button. It's gonna say group one, double click, so you can rename it. I'm just gonna name it CC Tutorial. Then you're going to want to go down to this half circle moon looking thing. Then first, you're going to want to select radiant map. Sorry, that was my phone. Um, go to the gradient map, and then you're going to want to make it this the first whatever color you want. So, for example, I'll do like in orange reddish type thing you're gonna want to remember the number up here so for me it's 11 go to the middle make sure it's still on 11 which it is for me and then just make this darker uh, you can kind of bring it out here as long as you make it dark like that mm. what I do is I just take it and put the thing right there and then it, it's darker but it's not like really dark and then for this you're going to want to get kind of an off-white grayish type thing so d d e d e is pretty good um yeah you're going to want to click on this again and make sure it's at the location is at 50. so yeah so there's your gray new map for the color that you want then you want to go down Click hue. And as you can see, it recolors like pretty much everything. So yeah, that's like the basic part. And then next, you're wanna gonna you're gonna wanna get curves, and that'll come up. You get your gosh, I suck at talking. All right, then you click here and here. And here, for this one, you remove that 
like up to the middle there this one there so I'll make kind of an S and then you just find a good spot for this I like that um so yeah as you can see it kind of just recolors everything uh, in all honesty, this render isn't very good. So, isn't a very good example. So, yeah, I don't know why that's gray. Here, let me. Don't do the DE thing that I said before, actually. I take that back. Make it more of a white. Just like that. Right, that's better. For some reason that was gray in the render, I guess. Um, whatever, that's weird. Okay. So next, you're gonna want to get a vibrant, and you just find something good and balanced. I think that's kind of cool. And in vibrance, this turns up like the color, kind of. I guess. Um, so yeah, there's that. Plus six, plus eight. Next, you're gonna want to get levels. Do output two. Do input three. That makes that just gives a little bit of a change, but it's almost barely noticeable. But trust me, uh, it can help with color balancing, especially on some of the grunge renders that people do. So there we go. Uh, next is brightness slash contrast. You can really just do whatever you want for this. I mean, I couldn't really care. I could care less. I mean, I couldn't care less. It's one of my pet peeves when people say I could care less because that means you care in the first place. I think that's retarded, but yeah. So I'm just gonna turn that up to like eight. Brightness, I'm gonna do minus one. There we go. Uh, next, you do black and white. Come on. What are you talking about? I don't even know. <sighs> Alright, and so then it's basically going to make everything gray. And then depending on what color you made the gradient map, so I made mine red, so I'm just going to turn the reds all the way down to black. Or, yeah. Then you want to go to overlay. And you just want to turn down the opacity till it looks good. This is kind of a bad example because the whole thing is like colored. But I was just trying to show you in general what it can do. So yeah, that that definitely sharpens things. As you can see, it makes it darker, but kind of sharper. Alright, so that's the regular colored CC. Um, I'll just uncheck those. I'm going to bring in a new render for the multicolored CCs. Actually, I can just use the same one because this is a pretty good example. So I name this multicolored CC. Alright, so first, again, you're going to want to bring in your gradient map. And select a color. This time I'll just choose like this blue. Here, wait, let me. This blue, I like that. Okay, I have no idea why it's doing this. Alright, there we go. So, yeah, I've got that blue. And then next, 
I'm gonna go to location um, 15 and bring in the darker blue. So yeah, go down to about where that racer spot is. And then go to location 30. Oops. Make a new one. Location 30. And this is going to be your second color. Now this is an automatic um, multicolored CC. This isn't like one another way I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you the other way, but yeah. So I guess I want the other color to be red. Bring that red. I like that. Then I'm going to make another one, location 45. And just bring this down there. Next is I'm going to get yet another one. And make it a mix between red and blue, which is purple. If you don't even know the mix, then that's fine. Because this one is going to have a low opacity anyway. So then you're going to put out the location 75. Click up top so it makes one of these. Location 75. Then turn down the opacity. Er, here, wait. Hmm. Huh. Okay, so just make this, click user color, and yeah, and then you can, kind of, I'm going to make it a, alright, never mind, just delete this one, I don't know why I brought that up, alright, then again, for the black, just make this like an off-white kind of thing, there we go, alright, done, hue, as you can see, it's kind of like multicolored. I don't like that that much. This works for some renders and other renders. It doesn't. It just depends on what you're doing. Really. And, uh, yeah. So I'm just going to put this back on. And I'm going to place a gradient map at the bottom. So it's easier for me. So this is the red one. This is the multicolored one. I'm gonna go back on this red one right here. I'm gonna make a new layer. I'm gonna name this layer uh, color two. And this layer, this gray map, color one. There we go. For color two, what you can do is you can grab your brush tool. Get something like this. Oh, make that a little bit bigger. Grab whatever other color you want. Again, I'll just do blue. Set the layer to hue. And you can just draw around it. It makes the color, so that's kind of a cool way. So, yeah. And I'll show you a way to, like, automatically change it and stuff. I'm not going to be that clean with this because take forever I'm just gonna give you you know examples so yeah like you know just go random that's what I'm gonna do but mainly you're gonna want to actually make it look professional this looks mentally retarded all right so next go down to the half circle click hue slash saturation X out go back again hue slash saturation X out now I'll drag this one down below color 2 so it's right above color 1. Right click and click create clipping mask and then do the same for color 2. And then now they're both directly nitable. It's almost like a color slider in a way. So I, I could make that purple and I could make this like I don't know, some weird yellow kind of thing. I'm not sure. You know, you can really do what you want with this. Uh, again, these are just examples. And like I said, you're going to want to be more professional. This is retarded because everything's just like 
everywhere. But yeah, guys, that's my CC tutorial. Tomorrow, I'll definitely have the um, giveaway video out. Most likely on later styles, if not some Cinema 4D materials, we'll have to see. But yeah, also, I'd like you to comment below what tutorials I should do next, because people are saying Cinema 4D tutorials, but then they're not being specific. Like, tell me what you want in the Cinema 4D tutorials, unless you just want me to do, like, a uh, quick run-through of Cinema 4D and, like, how to get used to it and stuff. I can do that as well, if you're just beginning with it. But yeah. Alright, so this has been Blood Rust, and I'm out. See ya.